Hey there, kitty cat. Ugh. How are ya? How are ya? Oh. There we go, much better. So, when it comes to productivity, I believe people usually fall into one of three categories. Uh, or at least they like to prioritize one of three things. And this actually ties into something that I like to use with my clients when we're discussing uh, the management of resources for a potential project. If you actually wanna survive the creative industry, you are forced to balance between these three elements, right? So we have quality, time, and money something that is of high quality, something that's done quickly in the shortest amount of time, and something that's done cheaply. So that means that if somebody comes to you and says, I want something of high quality done quickly, that means that you have to ask for a whole lot of money, obviously. If someone wants something done in a short amount of time with little money, that means that they're sacrificing quality. And if someone wants something of high quality done cheaply, that means that it's gonna take a long time to make. Believe it or not, this is actually something that translates very well uh, into our day-to-day -day lives. When we're working on a personal project and when it comes to productivity, we ourselves are forced to choose between those three elements. And there's one specific combination that I want to talk about today, which I believe is one of the worst, and it's something that's been affecting me for quite some time, and I bet a lot of you guys are also familiar with it. Whenever people choose to prioritize quality above all else and simultaneously choose to sacrifice time because of a lack of resource that, uh, resources that they have, this is essentially what leads to what I would call perfectionism. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about perfectionism is that stereotypical jackass who goes to an interview and once asked, what's one of your biggest flaws? He will say, well, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. You know, it's like, don't do that. That's such a douchey thing to say. Uh, I want to give you guys a backstory about this. 4D Academy started three years ago, back in 2016. It was my last semester of film school, and funny enough, I was supposed to work on my last assignment for my bachelor's degree. I gotta be honest, I did not like that place, and there wasn't a single drop of motivation in me to finish what I've started for the assignment. And so I, instead I decided to work on something that would make me feel better about the whole situation, and that's when I made the channel. The whole idea was to make some of the best YouTube courses for Cinema 4D. I knew that quality was my top priority, and I had to be very careful on how I would structure this, uh, the, the series itself, so that beginners could understand the basics. Because no matter what you do, if you're a beginner with no prior knowledge in computer graphics, you need to be aware of some of the fundamentals, otherwise everything is going to seem more complicated than it is. 
Because of this, I knew I had to make a few videos outside the software itself where I would explain these things. Problem was, I didn't want them to be generic slideshows, so I started creating fancy animations with pretty graphics and focusing intensely on visuals and the quality of the content. This is where the idea of perfectionism comes into play. It's not necessarily a problem when you're doing this with a client or if you're working for someone, because uh, that specific combination of uh, sacrificing time because of a lack of resources, because someone doesn't have money to pay you, th that usually happens when you're very excited about a project and you want to work on it. And so you say, okay, you know what, you don't have a lot of money, but look, I'm going to try and do my best because I like this project. I'm going to try and do my best to create something that's beautiful. But here's the thing, it's going to take quite some time because I have to do good time management to get it done. It's up to me on how I choose to prioritize your own project. On the other hand, when we do this with our uh, our own work, so for example, when I made uh, 4D Academy, this sort of combination does not bode well because usually what happens is you end up being incredibly burned out. Uh, that obviously um, depends on what type of work ethic you have, but I find that usually people end up like that. So it depends a lot on how bad your perfectionistic tendencies can get. And so if you have maladaptive perfectionism, that can end up looking really bad. Fast forward to 2019, the middle of 2019, and I haven't made a video since. And I feel pretty bad about it actually, because those videos were quite well received and everybody was saying like, oh my God, I, I can't believe such a, such a high quality, such good standards, whatever, la di da. But I was absolutely miserable because I did not want to continue to work for like six to eight hours a day, seven days or six days a week making those things. And so I just focused on earning a living essentially because I was just finishing up with school. I had to get a job. Three years go by, I did a whole lot of growing. Uh, I had to do a little bit of introspection and I always, I always wanted to restart the channel but I didn't know exactly how to do it because the whole burnout situation wasn't exactly appealing to me and I knew I had to switch up the formula so this is it. <laughs> I learned my lesson the hard way and now it's all about having fun, uh, entertainment, experimentation and bringing in a, li a little bit of personal flair. Good, so next video will be all about what I have uh, in store for this uh, channel and I think you guys are going to find it quite interesting. See you in the next video. Wanna say bye bye to the people? No, she's, she is not really a lap cat and she doesn't really like being held but she's being nice on camera right now. <laughs>